down at the beach here, it's a Miocene deposit uh, between, I would say, 12 and 16 million years old. We'll see what we can find. I'm hoping for some, well, as you know, penguin. <laughs> but really anything, it's just good to be out here. One of the comments I see quite often on videos of mine that go onto other social media platforms is that the crabs I find are crabs that I've put into cement. <laughs> Wait for it to harden and then take it out of the cement. Which sounds like a lot of work and I don't even know if it would work. I mean, surely the crab will still be squishy on the inside. But anyway, um, what we've got over here is a little landslide here from the siltstone cliff. And siltstone is this referring to the particle size that makes up the, the cliff. You get sandstone, siltstone and mudstone and probably a few others. But it goes sandstone, which is coarse grains, siltstone, less coarse, mudstone, which is very fine. And this is siltstone, so it's in between uh, sandstone and mudstone, if I recall correctly. And here's a concretion. And you can see it's got some shells and some coral inside there. And basically what it is, it's just when something died at the bottom of the ocean, it started a chemical process where the uh, calcium carbonate in the water bonded those little bits of silt together into like a natural cement, which is why so many people think this is cement. I suppose you can say it's a, it's a natural cement. The particles are actually cemented together by the calcium carbonate. You can see there's a concretion right over there. That's going to be weathered out of the cliff probably the next year or so. And you've got this landslide here. There'll be concretions inside here and probably some good fossils. And the ocean's going to come remove the siltstone, uh, the softer siltstone, and then leave behind the concretions. So it's going to tumble around on the, on the surface here and the waves will make them nice and roundish or round off the edges at least. Some of them will be oblong shaped, some will be round, just depending on the shape of the fossil inside. Here's something you don't see too often. I think that's a piece of wood in this concretion. Mainly because this area was deep underwater, so not much chance for wood to get down here. Hmm, pretty cool. I don't think it's bone, it really looks like wood. It's got that carbon look to it. Not much detail to it, it's been uh, eaten away by those Torito worms, I think. But it's still cool to see. A lot of concretions around. A lot of them broken, with broken crabs inside. Not just the, the bare minimum of a crab left in there. This one's empty. It's just got a bit of calcite in the middle. Sometimes happens, I wonder what, form, what it formed around. Let's carry on. There's a bit of bone over there in that concretion that I think I need to investigate. If I see bone like that on the edge of a concretion, I always hope it's a, a dolphin snout. I don't know if that's thick enough. Let's go have a look. Not a very large concretion. It's got the bone on that side. Really nice and thick bone really dense I would say. Let's have a look what's on the other side. I haven't looked yet. Let's hope. Ooh! Another piece of dense bone. If you can see there in the corner. Let's flip it over. Hmm. It's got a hollow in there, so I wonder if it's a mandible. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that... Sorry, it's so windy. Try to block the, the mic. But, so it's starting over on this side, and going all the way through onto that side. 
don't think it's worth taking back. It's it's really heavy and it's only that one piece of bone showing. I mean, if there were teeth on that mandible, that'd be great. I don't see any. Let's go see if we can find something smaller. <laughs> That's a good find though. something that's got me a bit intrigued. It's definitely a bone cluster, there's bone all over it. There might be a skull, so let's take a look at it. If you look closely at it, if you use your imagination, you can imagine this being the skull of a small <laughs> dolphin, but you really have to use your imagination. So, there's a bit of bone coming out here in the front relatively symmetrical so very symmetrical there's, there's a bit over there and there's a bit over there and then there's more bone coming out this side and there's more bone on that side let me get it into the sun there's bone over there and then bone on this side very symmetrical bone in the front as this skull. <laughs> That's the question. Sorry, the wind's so bad I might have to just talk over it. But yeah. Some good bone in there. It's just a bit flat. Here's something very coarse, only the second one I've ever found. If you look over there, that's a seed from a conifer, which is very rare because this is a deep sea deposit. So I found wood today, and also that's a, a seed from a conifer. I think it's a conifer. I'll put the, the correct name down here below, but yeah, that's so cool. It's in a huge rock, so I'm going to leave it here, but that's beautiful. See the little leaves there. Well, that's me done for today. I'm gonna to head back to the car. Once we get home, we can take a closer look at that bone block, see if we can puzzle it out. <laughs> it's great being down here, but the wind's picked up, so I couldn't take too much footage. Yeah, let's head home. Here's that bone cluster I found today. First step is I'm going to put some B72 on the exposed bone. That will make it stand out a little bit more before we take a closer look at it. Here's the one section of bone sticking out the side. Here's that really wide piece. That's very symmetrical. It's got it's got kind of a bulge on this side, bulge on that side, and it's quite thin in the middle. And a few bits at the back there. I'm hoping there's going to be bone all throughout this. Here's a picture of a dolphin skull I just printed out and I was thinking maybe we're looking at something, you know, in this area. So that could be where it's um, been cut off down here at the front and that some of this is in the middle here. The only reason why I'm <laughs> thinking it could not be is because it's such a flat rock. Perhaps if all the bones have been kind of crushed down into one layer, you know, so instead of the skull being inflated, it's just been 
compressed down into a really thin layer, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna have to prep this <laughs> so we can see what's going on inside here. The other thing it could be is it could just be a vertebra that's been crushed down. So all the vertebra. So if this is part of a vertebra over here and this is a process coming off it, it could just be that the vertebra has been broken and compressed down. But then I'm not sure what these ones at the back would be. Sorry, the neighbor's dog's barking. <laughs> I think there's only one thing for it. You know, have to spend a month or two prepping this, <laughs> acid prepping it, seeing what comes out of it. And we've got a mailbag to open today, so let's have a look in here. This is from Brennan from Grand Treasure Bay. He's got a YouTube channel as well, so go check it out and give him a subscribe and a like. Ooh, exciting. This is a, it's a heavy box, this. Oh, it looks like some of those Toski rocks. Those are beautiful. Those are beautiful. Beautiful little bits of coral. Wow, <laughs> have a look at that. Another Potoski stone. That's a beautiful one. It's been polished so well. That's amazing. <laughs> Thanks so much. Oh, I'm stoked. Such a difference between the rough and the polished. Wow, <laughs> look at that one, that's huge. I'm gonna have to try and polish this myself, I think. That's a really big one. So if I have this correct, these are really old fossils. I think Brennan says in here, so those are 350 million years old? <laughs> That's really old. So much older than anything I found here in New Zealand. That looks like some... Is it some agate material still in the host rock? It almost looks like basalt. That's awesome. I've read the letter Brennan sent, and this is chlorastrolite in the matrix. That's beautiful. The state gemstone of Michigan. Very cool. I thought it was chalcedony in there, but it's something way cooler. <laughs> Another beautifully polished one. I love these. Thanks so much, Brendan. These are amazing. Yeah, guys, please give him a subscribe on his channel. He's doing some really good work there. I mean, wow, look at that. It really is beautiful. Here's a piece of petrified wood I found on my doorstep yesterday. <laughs> uh, someone from the local rock hounding club polished this. He slabbed it and polished it. And this is a piece of Cretaceous wood. It's really beautiful. It's got these calcite blooms inside it and this really dark material. It's just beautiful. You can still see the growth rings over there. Thanks so much for joining me everyone. Um, hopefully we can solve this mystery pretty soon. I'll do an update video as soon as I know what's going on inside here. Uh, if you've run out of videos to watch, I've got a Patreon channel 
where there's about another 40 or 50 videos, fossil hunting videos and prep videos and also a secret project. So if you want to go check that out, uh, go to patreon.com forward slash mamlambo. <laughs> Stay safe out there, I'll see you on the next hunt.